Thanks guys and happy Easter. Welcome to Blessings and Ball Cards episode 33. Let's get active by doing some air punches as the intro rolls. Everybody ready? Whoa, 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 just wait. Please make sure your little brother is out of the way before we start. I don't want to get blamed for this. Watch out, Connor. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I know you guys are with me at this. I hate daylight savings time. I hate it so much that I actually lost sleep over it. <laughs> Wait, this just in. We have a fun fact. Fox News just reported a British study that shows dad jokes actually help kids develop into healthy adults. Who knew? Yeah, that's right, you're welcome. I'd rather you absorb the Bible lessons, but at least we're making a positive influence in your life in some way. <laughs> Speaking of good influences, please click the link at the end of this video to jump over to the episode 33 card table. We opened the Optic Fanatics Basketball Blaster Box. We're looking for the Fanatics exclusive Green Shock Parallel cards. We did pretty well with the last Fanatics box, so let's see if we have more good mojo here. If you would like to donate to Blessings and Ball Cards, please email us at blessingsandballcards at gmail.com or message us on Facebook. Your donations go towards helping others in need, which leads us to our mission verse in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. It says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Now please, bow your heads for prayer. Lord God, you love this world so much that you gave your one and only Son that we might be called your children too. Father, help us to live in the gladness and grace of Easter Sunday every day. Let us have hearts of thankfulness for your sacrifice. Let us have eyes that look upon your grace and rejoice in our salvation. Help us to walk in that mighty grace and tell your good news to the world. And all of God's children said, Amen! If you need to be lifted up in prayer or want to celebrate the glory of God, please message us on Facebook or email us at blessingsandballcards at gmail.com. Now let's get ready for a Bible lesson about Easter and why Christ's journey to Calvary and His saving work on the cross is the most special time of the year. All the people say... Great job, Griff. I'll tell you what, this time of year is so important, and it's not because Griffin's a teenager, it's so important to our Christian life and our eternal lives. But when Jesus died on the cross at Calvary, a lot of his disciples were completely dumbfounded. They didn't even know what to do. They just lost their teacher. They lost their best friend. How would they go on without him? In fact, two of them were especially stunned as they went back home after the Passover. The problem with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus was that they were trying to get away from the cross. I mean, they just watched the death of their teacher. The crucifixion was not a pleasant sight. In fact, it was a pretty horrific one. The punishment on Jesus' body was shocking. After all, he bore the weight of our past, present, and future sins on that cross. The two disciples on their way to Emmaus afterward never thought they would see Jesus alive again. So they wanted to get away from that cross as soon as possible. But folks, every step away from that cross is a step in the wrong direction. We don't want to run away from the cross because of our horrible circumstances. We need to run to the cross because of our horrible circumstances. What that means simply is that we need to come to God. Come to God with our everyday struggles. Come to God with sudden hardships. Come to God with addictions. Come to God with people that are too difficult to deal with. Come to God with the events of your life that are too heavy for us to carry on our own. And that is what the two disciples learned that day on the road as they were encountered by Jesus after his death. Their eyes were open to Christ and they were filled with hope and joy again. In fact, it was an eternal hope and joy. Please realize that Jesus died on the cross for a reason. He died there for our sin. It wasn't nails that held him to the cross. It was his love for you and me. Think about that. A perfect, blameless life taken to the cross because he loves us. Jesus went to that cross because there was no other way to satisfy the righteous demands of the holy God whom we have all offended by our sin. 
but Jesus was uniquely qualified to bridge that gap. So, with one hand, he took hold of sinful humanity, and with the other hand, he took hold of a holy God. They drove nails through those hands, and he died in our place on that cross. In John chapter 3, verse 16, Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God the Father not only sent his Son to the cross, but his Son willingly went. How many times have you run away from the cross because of your troubling times? Be strong, my friends. Get help from the Bible. Get help from the church. And I'm not just talking about the church, like the building the church. I'm talking about the capital C church of believers that surround you. Pick yourselves up and start your run to the cross. We can't move ahead if we spend our time looking back. So give thanks to Jesus this Easter because of his incredible gift on the cross for us. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. Please remember to head on over to the episode 33 card table by using the link at the end of this video. And from all of us at Blessings and Ball Cards, be thankful for the incredible life, death, and resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Happy Easter, everybody. And remember to go out into this world to love God and love people.